to wait and see. He's all over the stats for Bunning. Swallow gets through heavy traffic. Got it to Goldstein. Handball back to Zeebel. Zeebel short ball. Missed the targets. Pichu picks it up. Wheels around. Pump right in. Kikers are back in front. He is magnificent to Pichu. He's been a warrior for the Grues. Hasn't had a lot of impact tonight, but he might have kicked the goal that has put them into another week in September. It's cut broke tonight. Loser out. Winner goes through to meet Geelong. Oh, well, Bowie McGrath loved that. Being in front will always react first, and that's exactly what happened then. I don't think the kick was meant for Drew Petrie, but he was just able to get that two or three metres on Carl Hooper. He's done a superb job all night. But the work done by, um, I think it was Andrew Swallow, through that yeah. stoppage. What a game of football this is, and it ain't dead yet. Ryder wins with the tap of Del Sando with the takeaway for the Ruse. Bounces it inside the yard. Wells sells it this way, sells it that way, gives it to Petrie. Has he kicked through in 30 seconds? My word, he has! Threw it under the boot, snapped it around the corner from directly in front, if that's possible, and hammers home the 14th goal for the Ruse and extends the margin out to 11 points. What about that? Oh, what a crucial, <laughs> ridiculous. And we thought we saw it all with Paddy Ryder snapping from 45. Drew Petrie's just checks on it from 45. <laughs> This game's got it all. I thought they might have stuffed it up and given one too many handballs with Daniel Wells, but uh, was able to get away from it. But Drew Petrie, what a moment. We'll put your Geelong eyes on now, Troy Selwood. Mate. Ball comes back in. Goldstein. Hacking kick forward. Black can't get on the end of it. Hibbard with another chance. Too little, too late. Siren imminent as the North Melbourne defenders crash straight through. Ball goes back.